Here we are in the future, because everything is bright. Which is great, because the present kind of sucks. Hey, how's it going, Comic Universe? I am back, and we are talking about the new Steven Universe future opening that just got uh, revealed to, uh, today. And apparently uh, New York Comic Con's going on. They did a big panel, and at the end, they revealed, yes, it's going to be uh, confirmed that it is the final uh, season, season six. It's also being called an epilogue season, which is kind of cool because that means they've definitely given Rebecca Sugar uh, the power to end the show on the way she wanted to. So we're actually not extending the series longer than it needs to be, which anybody who's watched TV shows and you know, you know sometimes the show just goes way too long than the intended like purpose of it. So that's great. And it's also not ending too soon, uh, which is also terrible. Uh, to be honest, maybe that's worse. So yeah, this is being dubbed a like mini series, maxi series, epilogue series. It's the final season, and it's also been rebranded Steven Universe Future, which is kind of cool. Uh, there was a lot of talk about it being rebranded, sort of like uh, uh, like Justice League Unlimited and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, they even have a new title font for Steven Universe's name. The intro is glorious. Uh, I, I am blown away first and foremost by the animation. It's beautiful, it's nice and flowing, it's bright. Uh, the sequences uh, are just wonderful, like they uh, there's a couple that are just bigger versions of the previous shots of the sh of the previous two intros, where like a full giant cast of gems is at the uh, at the portal. Uh, there's that uh, shot that's uh, you know the running shot has been sweep around. That's gorgeous. Uh, and of course uh, Stephen being taught how to drive by Pearl and Amethyst in the Dundai, where the other characters are like uh, flying around them. Uh, then, of course, we get, like, that one villain shot. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a second. And then we just uh, go around the corner and see where kind of the townies and the uh, the gems are. And, of course, we get the beach shot of the family, like, uh, enjoying, like, a picnic on the beach. Uh, yeah, it's really wonderful. It's exciting. And uh, I am uh, kind of a little full of emotion, really, because, you know, I'd rather the show end on a good note than, like, Peter and, like, you know, become a shell of its former self. I've seen that happen way too many times to TV shows I like. Uh, and to film franchises, now that I think about it. Uh, all right, now let's go to some of the cool things. Uh, Steven has a black shirt uh, this time around, uh, which really looks good. Obviously, he's graduated to his dad's shirts. Because uh, don't forget, he had, like, uh, he had red shirts, uh, the stars, and he had, uh, I guess, the blue turquoise one. And, and then the, the black one. So now he's graduated to the black one. Uh, that looks really cool. Uh, let's see. It definitely looks like we're going to be seeing uh, more Spinel, uh, more of you know the diamonds. They're going to stay uh, within the series. We're not just going to have them disappear now that they've done their job in the show. And uh, I guess we're going to finally see the other uh, like crystal gems and homeworld gems that have been formerly corrupted. Uh, they seem to be a big fan of I think Snowflake. Oh, uh, that, that big one. Uh, I feel like we're going to see quite a bit of her, because I keep seeing her in background shots, and I don't know, the anime seemed to really dig her design. So uh, let's go to the villain shot, which looks um, excellent. They've never done that in the show before, so it's kind of cool to see like him facing off villains. And, of course, we have Jasper like front and center, which I figured would be kind of the main bad guy for the last season, or, because it makes a lot of sense. Uh, she was the evil force in the first season we kind of led up to her and you know we had a lot of stuff going on in between and then she's taking a break it only makes sense for her to come full circle now as someone who just can't let go of the the past and it has to they have to like make it so again like that and yeah she's definitely someone also not to mention like she was motivated a lot of hatred for rose quartz because of her love for pink diamond and now I don't think she's going to take the news uh, of the big reveal twist uh, very well. So I think that's kind of going to be a big motivation. I think it's going to be uh, 
I don't know if they're going to have her lead a rebellion against uh, Stephen and the rest of the gems, which would be an interesting juxtapose uh, of now her leading rebellion uh, against uh, Stephen. Uh, there's some, let's see, interesting shots. There's two lapises in that shot. There's, uh, it looks like Aquamarine, who I assumed would be around uh, for this, because uh, she's not a good person. And we got the Cactus Steven monster, uh, and some big giant creature in the background. I'm very curious to see what that, that's about. And I guess what's fascinating is uh, White Diamond is there? Uh, she's in the opening shot with the others looking happy, and she's also in the villain shot. Now, she looks pinkish too, so she's either been like con corrupted or controlled, or she's kind of giving in. And you know, Some suspect, including me, that maybe she's not been completely honest and her support of Steven, uh, and then she's just kind of biding her time. You know, maybe that's that's happening here, uh, or maybe you know Jasper do, does something to corrupt her, or or uh, I don't know, maybe fuse with her or something like. I don't know. I haven't really kind of figured out, but I'm really fascinated with the fact that she's among the bad guys uh, in that, and they're open about it. This isn't some like clever secret twist they're holding off. Like she's there, so uh, that's really cool to see. Uh, all in all, I have, I guess, mis mixed emotions. Um, one, I am sad to see the show go. It's meant a lot to me. It's meant a lot to, like, uh, animation fans and animation in general. It's been a really positive force. It's been a wonderful series. But on the other hand, uh, I'm glad to see it end on the way it wants to end. Uh, and I've mentioned that a couple times in this video. Uh, I've seen way too many shows like Cancel Before Their Time. There was a lot of anxiety among fans when it first took off that it would be canceled because it was so different and people wondered if it really would have uh, uh, kind of catch on. And it did. And it's a victory. And I've said this over and over again since uh, the ending of season five. Rebecca Sugar won. Uh, she got to tell the story she wanted to. Uh, it was a strong, fascinating like complex positive story and you know anything she would have done afterward would have been kind of a victory lap and you know the film could have been viewed as that and now we get to kind of complete it uh, the whole story with uh, one more season uh, so yeah I'm very excited uh, I look forward to this there's no date yet on uh, the run of the series or how many episodes will be in the season I hope a full season that would be you know the best if it was like a 20 some episode season but uh, hey, what did you think of the intro, and what do you think about Steven Universe future, and what uh, we got to expect uh, coming up in the season ahead? Uh, you can uh, like the video, subscribe to Com Comic Universe. Uh, don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get ahead on what we're posting and talking about. And hey, I have a channel too. I'm the Real Manos. You can uh, follow me as well and my various things I do. I do a lot. All right, I think that's it for now. So. Push the button, that's it.